Hello, welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain, and this is episode 10 of the Faster XP 2012 series, where I show you how to supercharge your Windows XP machine. Now remember, the Faster XP series will debut every Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So in this video, we're going to talk about optimizing your paging file. Your paging file is what your operating system uses when it runs out of standard system memory. Many people have used this technique for a very long time, and there's two things you can do to optimize your paging file, and it really just depends on how much memory your system has. In this particular series, I'm recommending uh, for Windows XP that you have at least two gigabytes of memory, and you still set the paging file when you have two gigs. If you have more than two gigabytes of memory, you can disable the paging file, but we will talk about that in a future video. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to want to do is just right click on your desktop and select properties. Actually, that's probably not the best way. Let's just select your start menu. Let's right click on my computer and select properties. My computer will come up and you want to select the advanced tab because remember, you're becoming an advanced user here. And you want to select settings under performance and then you want to select the advanced tab again. So you're an advanced, advanced user at this point. And at the bottom, we have this nice little virtual memory section, and you want to select change. Now, once you've opened this up, there's, like I said, two different ways to do this. What we're looking at here is this bottom section. You want to look at the recommended amount. See, what it does is, is it actually takes your current setting or your current amount of memory stored in your system, and it multiplies it by one and a half, usually around there, and it gives you the recommended setting. Now, Windows is set up to dynamically allocate it. In other words, it'll fluctuate between it, but that uses up resources for it to do that. So we're just going to set it to a static paging file and we're going to set it to that recommended amount. So for this custom size here, select 1534 for the initial and then select 1534 for the maximum. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know how to type today. 1534. Select set and you have up here, you can see, set it to 1534 to 1534. You have set a static paging file, which means Windows is going to stop trying to micromanage it. You're going to free up those resources. Plus, you're going to still have this paging file available to you for your operating system. Now, remember, it's important that you collect, click, collect, collect, click that set button. It will set it into your system. Select OK. It's going to ask you if you want to restart or tell you that you have to restart for changes to take effect. Select OK, select OK, it will ask you, and you can restart it now if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and wait. Now the paging file is kind of like this highly debated issue. You know, people are always debating what they need to do with their paging file. And the simple matter of what a paging file is, is it's, it's there for your system if it runs out of memory. You have your hard drive, and then you have separate sticks of memory. These sticks of memory are physically located closer to the processor so that they're really, really fast. Plus, they're designed to do just that one task, B memory. The reason you don't want your system to have to use your paging file is because the hard drive is physically very far from it, and the cables that connect it to it don't really possess the bandwidth necessary to handle high-speed data transfers. Now, I know this all sounds near nerdy and geeky and, and complex, but it's really, it comes down to this. If you have a system that requires a paging file, you need to install more memory typically, if it's using it often, which means if you have Windows XP and you have only one gig of memory, probably want to throw in another stick. If you have Windows Vista or 7, you only have two gigs of memory, probably want to throw in another two gigs. So that way you can at least boost yourself up to the point where you're at the what I would call the system minimum. If you don't, what's going to happen is you're going to run out of system memory and that nice little package you got that's physically located close to the processor is going to get congested and your processor is going to have to go to your hard drive, which is way over here, and it's going to have to do swapping between the two and it's going to have to do all this micromanaging that, as you can imagine, causes all kinds of system slowdown and, and terror. So that's all there is to this video. That's how you optimize the Windows XP paging file. And uh, it's not that complicated, and you got a nice little rough draft tutorial on how that works. I know I was kind of taking a lot of things for granted. Probably going to get yelled at by some geeks for that. But hey, it is what it is. I won't take offense. Everybody's got their own opinions. So, as always, thanks for stopping by to the PCM Tech Help Show. Remember, you can catch me on our network. Become a PCM techie. You get free unlimited tech support from yours truly. That's at my website, PCMTechHelp.com. And you can register under the community section. You know, it's kind of, I should probably move that around a little bit so people can find it better. But remember, you can also subscribe on YouTube 
comment, you know, like and subscribe on YouTube. And you can also, you know, follow me on Facebook and Twitter and add me to your circles on Google Plus and, and, you know, connect with me on LinkedIn and then you can invest in me on Empire Avenue and then you can, I'm part of way too many social networks. I'm going to go. Have a good day.